Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so this week's weekly boss raid is weekly boss raid 50 and it is Frost Lord. Um, strangely, I don't know if this is my game or if it's intended, but there's no type and there's no property and there's no defense type. I can get why there's no defense type, but this is kind of weird. Maybe it's a glitch on my end. So I'm not sure what type of a uh, red card or racial card I, I would be using. So for cards, I'm actually just going to stick with Roger Pearl and Prison Cutter. And you might be wondering why. Well, you know, Prison Cutter increases damage against bleeding enemies and Roger Pearl um, increases the chances of bleeding the enemy. And I believe one of our skills here does bleeding. I just forgot which one, but uh, yes, Behead. Behead causes bleeding. That's right. Deep wound. All right. And let's see here. What's the skills? Uh, this is actually similar to the Tinny um, siblings. Uh, we have flower blooms at a random location. A scent buff is applied by staying near the flower, and that increases your damage by 30% per stack. Uh, when floral scent buff is 3 stacks, all patterns does not activate for 10 seconds and the boss monster is done. So basically try to get 3 stacks. There is then the death rune. A magic circle will be summoned at the character's position. The magic circle will explode and does a lot of damage um, it also decreases your accuracy so if that does happen to you and you do survive try to have an icker that has accuracy uh, let's see here going back void explosion the boss monster will receive a protective barrier the barrier will explode when the duration expires and will inflict blind to you so basically keep an eye on his uh, Avoid explosion armor, and if that goes away, just get away, I guess. Magic absorption portals will spawn at three different locations and summon sphere. The sphere will move towards the nearby monster, and the sphere will provide a buff to the nearby monster. And I think the way it works here is one of them is actually a physical benefit. I need to figure out which one that is, and I will get back to you. And then there's the basic attack specialty. The boss master of this of this week will have an enhanced basic attack skill. So basically, have some physical uh, physical blue cards like Zara or Phylexia card, which decreases the damage on the boss. So yep, I got back and I did some research, and I actually found out that the magic absorption the way it works is if you happen to have a uh the red orb that is the damage orb so it increases your damage if you don't grab it it increases the boss's damage the blue orb increases magic defense um you can avoid that you know you don't really need magic defense remember the specialty here for this boss is increased physical attack or basic attack um so try to grab the red one um, if you are low on defense, try to grab the gray one. Um, ultimately, it's up to you if you want to take more damage or less damage or do more damage. Ideally, I think in this situation, given my uh, physical mitigation capabilities, I would probably go for the red and get some damage from there. And if that doesn't work out, then I'll start grabbing the gray one. We'll see how it goes in game.
So as you saw there, it wasn't too bad. Um, seems like, oh, that's pretty loud. So it seems like the weekly boss rate has really no type, but if I look through the Trio Savior Neat database, we have it listed as a flying type. So we're gonna actually try using a flying type uh, racial card and see how that goes. And specifically that is the Grenadier card. Uh, we're gonna try to get 30% increase flying damage. And on top of that, we'll stick with our Gazing Golem and the May card, and we'll see how it goes in terms of damage. Um, as you saw earlier on the official one, my highest damage was 2.9 billion, so we'll see how it goes now. Thank <laughs> you. 